Saturday is Halloween, and that means it's time for me as an adult woman to choose my costume. And it could be anything from sexy pirate to sexy waitress to sexy traffic cone to sexy pizza rat, etc. And once I've chosen a costume, of course, it's going to be time to party. But I've recently learned that I'm going to have to be really careful because multiple studies show that Halloween costumes get you drunk. Really. Research on college students shows that their blood alcohol levels rise on certain holidays, like Halloween. And on Halloween in particular, their blood alcohol levels rise even more if they're in costume. And they're greater if they are women. And they're even greater if they happen to put a lot of effort into their costume. Seriously, the more effort you put into your costume, the drunker you will get. Okay, obviously I'm joking. I'm making a correlation causation mistake. There is something going on here though. It turns out that we tend to drink more if we think we have a reason to celebrate. And so people tend to drink more on holidays. And when you put a lot of effort and time into making and wearing a costume, it invests you more in that holiday, which makes you more likely to feel that you've deserved going out and getting even drunker. And also these studies show that women tended to be more likely to wear costumes, and so they were more likely to be drunk. I learned about that research on the awesome website Sociological Images, where I also picked up this other cool Halloween science tidbit that unscheduled births, so not talking about planned C-sections or induced labor, unscheduled births tend to rise on Valentine's Day and lower on Halloween by a significant degree. And so it turns out that our culture is sort of dictating when people are born and women have some amount of either conscious or unconscious control over when they give birth. And it also means that a significant plurality of women tend to want to give birth more on a holiday that's devoted to love and kindness as opposed to a holiday based on death and skeletons and costumes. And for the record, those women are 100% wrong. Uh, if I were pregnant and due sometime around Valentine's Day, I would absolutely hold on to that fetus until Halloween because Halloween is an awesome holiday to be born on. And Valentine's Day is an over-commercialized uh, crap holiday. And if I couldn't make it the eight and a half months to Halloween, I would at the very least hold that baby in until February 15th. Because then for the rest of that child's life, every birthday, they're going to get a lot of awesome 50% off candy. So anyway, the point of all this is that you should maybe keep in mind, if you are not pregnant this Halloween and you are planning to drink, maybe make sure that if you are wearing a costume, particularly, you're not overdoing it. Have a soda between every drink or so. And, you know, that way you can maybe avoid throwing up or otherwise destroying that costume that you put so much time and effort into.